спокою на передовій немає. There is no calm on the front line. There is nothing easy and simple. Every day and every meter is extremely hard, and especially where the whole tactics of the occupiers are boiled down to the destruction of everything in sight by artillery, so that only bare ruins and craters in the ground remain. Today, 64 Ukrainians were returned from Russian captivity, 64 warriors, four officers and 60 privates and sergeants. Among them, they are seriously wounded. We are providing proper assistance to all of them. Zelensky opposed the idea of Russian athletes taking part under any kind of neutral banner at the 2024 Summer Olympics. No one will turn a blind eye to any attempts to reduce international pressure on the source of the war when we receive receive such reports as today from Kherson, where another Russian shelling killed a child, a boy, he was eight years old. We can say only one thing, a white or any other neutral flag is impossible for Russian athletes. All their flags are stained with blood. Pro-Russian officials blamed Ukrainian forces for a shelling attack on Donetsk earlier today, which damaged a hospital and an apartment block. They hit the first building three days ago. I don't understand what it's all for. Why? You can't prove anything with this, because those who live in Donbass, who are from Donetsk, are loyal to Donetsk. They are loyal to Russia. It's not going to be any other way. The city in the Russian-controlled territory was subjected to the heaviest shelling in years. Moscow-installed officials said, as both sides ruled out a Christmas truce in the nearly 10-month-old conflict. There was a woman lying here. Just imagine all the debris flying her way. You can see some blood here. She was taken into surgery. They sewed up and bandaged the wound on her leg. I heard a loud rumble, and I saw something like a big fireball falling right in front of the balcony. It all started coming in, onto my bed, glass, bits of bricks, all of it. Earlier today, Russian missiles hit Kharkiv, severely damaging a warehouse, according to Dmitry Chubenko, Kharkiv Region Prosecutor's Office press officer. S-300 missiles were launched from Russia's Belgorod and hit an empty warehouse, Chubenko said. No casualties had been reported. Russia conducts strikes on civilian infrastructure, as you see. The warehouse was completely empty. There was no connection to the military whatsoever. 